right here is a big spur gear, just a plain old ordinary gear, and on the end of the armature, which is the part of the motor that turns around, is a small, what they call pinion. So you have a pinion, small pinion, driving a large gear. That means the motor turns faster than the wheel because you're getting a reduction. This has to go around uh, probably four times for every time the wheel turns around. This is not a speed demon. If this went 20 miles an hour, I would think it was really going pretty fast. And, and we obviously don't run it very fast now. Though I say, it did run right to here. Not going to run much further before we do a lot of work on it. On either side you have wheels. These are what they call a railroad profile. They're 33 inches in diameter. And the profile is, well, we'll see how wide it is. That's why we carry this tape measure with us at all time. It's a, about three and a half inches wide, which is standard for railroads. Trolley cars would have had one that was only about two and a half inches wide. Um, they needed that because railroad track was a lot wider, uh, a lot less forgiving. Trolley car, or a lot more forgiving, I should say. Trolley tracks were uh, very, because they had to be in the street, couldn't have wide gaps like this in them. Uh, carriage wheels and automobile wheels and so forth would get caught in them, so they, uh, they had to uh, be a lot more carefully built. These wheels have worn down, uh, you can look at the end there, uh, have worn down pretty thin. In fact, you can see right here how this is, the, the metal has kind of worn, uh, worked its way over here. This, this wheel, while it would work probably for here for many, many years, is worn down to the point it could not be used in regular operation. This tread should be probably an inch and a half to two inches thick. In other words, the wheel would be uh, almost two inches larger in diameter. Right here, I don't know whether this will show, right where my finger is, turn, lift your light up a little bit, uh, is a tiny spark mark and they're all around the wheel because the electricity after it comes out of the motors, goes to a ground wire, which is connected to this whole uh, truck frame, we'll talk about that in a minute, and then goes to the track. So when we ran this in here, this is rusty, the rail was rusty, and so there were lots of sparks in here because uh, it hadn't been cleaned up. If we'd have run a lot, you wouldn't get sparks like that, but it was kind of interesting to watch them. And um, uh, yeah. Now, okay. in the center of the car, actually not in the center, about eight feet in, is an item called a bolster. It goes across the car. There's, there's a bolster for the body and another one pointing up for the truck. And this is what actually supports the body of the car and then allows it to pivot. It's made of two pieces of flat steel, each about three quarters of an inch thick. You can see the one going across the top. Looking over in the center, you see some bolts coming down. That's how it's bolted to the body. And then there are spacers so that it's spread out uh, about eight inches apart. And then it tapers off on either end.